Time is out for persons with disabilities to lament over poverty and joblessness as the Ministry of Education and Sports embarks on vocationalizing the education program through the, the Directorate of Industrial Training. Students with disabilities at Mbali School for the Deaf have undergone competence assessment in different vocational occupations under the new dual curriculum aiming at producing graduates with employable skills which are competitive in the labor market. Mbala School for the Deaf is one of the model secondary schools implementing the dual curriculum where learners are subjected to vocational training in carpentry, bricklaying and plumbing, shoemaking, knitting, training, hairdressing, among others. The headmistress, Mbala School for the Deaf, Sister Rose Lelima, appreciates the skills training programs meant to equip the youth with vocational skills. Sister Rose Lelima calls on parents to embrace vocational training. We, we do a lot of teaching, a lot of social work, a lot of guidance and counseling. So as the staff of this school, we are not only teachers, mm. but there are multiple tasks we are playing. So the children gave pressure to their parents, we need to go back to school. There is a technical school there, mm. so parents brought the children. Why the minister was not ready. Mm -hmm. So as a board, with the board and the, my colleagues, the teachers, so we had to take it up while we are engaging the ministry. Mm -hmm. We have experimented it and uh, they are really very happy when they are learning. When, you, when it is time for vocational activities, you find students very eager because it is hands-on. People learn the skills inter instantly and I'm very happy with the school administration because it provides the training materials timely. The Directorate of Industrial Training of the Ministry of Education and Sports assess the competence of 154 vulnerable girls and women that include 48 students. Beneficiaries believe this training will go a long way in preparing them to be productive and self-sustaining. My advice to my fellow deaths, I, I encourage them not to just be redundant at home, but to continue look for where to, to get these skills, like in this school, from Bali School for the Deaf. They come and study when they acquire the skill and get a job. It will be very easy for them to get what to support them, not to sit at home relaxing, waiting for other people, making people to undermine them in the villages, that deaf people are bad. It is not good. So, tailoring in the vocation, in vocation department, I'm very happy to, for having managed up to, I would like to thank the administrators and management for giving me the opportunity to learn this course. The Director of Industrial Training also assessed 216 vulnerable adult saint girls and women in three centers of Bugembe, Kakira and Buwenge who have undergone a three-month training in hairdressing, cookery and tailoring. Ginger Vocational Training Institute conducted the training supported by the Global Fund, TASO, Uganda and Health Associates. We misused our future. They took us to schools but when but we dropped out. So what I'm telling my fellow girls, we should not hurry into such stuff. So hold on and be patient. Your time is coming and when you're given an opportunity, please use it.